All right, let's get straight down to it. Here is the formula for succeeding with your own e-commerce business online. And I have listed here eight major steps. Okay, and of course you will find that there are a lot of other tiny steps in between, but these are the eight major steps you're gonna to want to focus on. Step one, find a niche. Step two, search for products that you can white label. Step three, create a brand. Step four, list your products on Amazon or set up your own e-commerce site using Shopify. Now I do recommend that you set up your own e-commerce site using Shopify. But if you're new to online marketing and you just want to get your feet wet, then you can go ahead and just sell on Amazon at first just so you can learn the ropes of the game and just so you can get some experience selling online. Okay. Step five is generate traffic. Step six, provide excellent customer service. And this should go without saying, um, you know, if you provide great customer service, you're going to get repeat customers and you're also going to get referrals to your business. So go beyond their expectations, deliver products on time, and also ask for customer reviews so that other potential customers will see that you have a high quality product and that you're a great company to deal with. Step seven, automate the best you can. Now I say here automate your order processing when it takes more than two to three, three hours each day, but you should try to automate as many other tasks as you can because there's going to come a point in your business where you do not have the time to grow your business you're going to be so busy with the day-to-day -day tasks in your business there's only so much time in a day so you're going to want to invest in tools to automate tasks okay you could also hire help and even to hire a virtual assistant overseas that you can pay two dollars an hour and I actually recommend you hire someone as soon as you can afford it just so that you could get into the habit of outsourcing your tasks okay and step A is to create your own e-commerce store using Shopify if you haven't already so if you've already done that here in step 4 you can skip uh, the last step here step 8 okay now if you start off on Amazon you know you're gonna there's gonna be a point in your business where it's just time to move on okay and the reason for that is Amazon owns your web property and potential changes in the way they run things pose a threat to your business okay you have no control over your business and also the big benefit is this, is that once you have your own e-commerce store or e website you can start building an email list and continually sell to your customers or even just the visitors that come to your site. Another be big benefit is that if you decide to sell your business one day, it'll have a higher value if it's an independent branded store rather than just being on Amazon. Okay, so now that I've listed off uh, the eight major steps here, I'm going to explain some of them in more detail in the following videos. Uh, there are some steps here that I will not uh, go into in some of these videos or I just didn't make a video on some of these steps just because they're common sense. For example, uh, you know, providing customer service. Also, step four here uh, where I tell you to list your products on Amazon or set up your own e-commerce site. I did not make a video on that step just because you know that's more technical and this is this video course was not designed to be uh, a technical course on how to set things up on Amazon or how to set up your own website okay so with that said I, I look forward to seeing you in the following videos okay so let's cover the topic of picking your niche in this video now you don't have to find something that you're passionate about but you know it is good to sell something that you have a slight interest in so that you can better get through the bad days of having an online business because when you first start out you are going to encounter uh, some bad days where you get low sales or just where you, you encounter uh, certain problems okay um, so now let's cover three methods here on how to find your niche 
method number one and now this method is more for short-term profits and this method involves just finding whatever the newest craze is so you're not really looking for a product that you could continue to sell in the long run you're just always looking for the newest craze and some people do profit from the strategy and you could use tools such as Trendosaur or Terapeak to see what the next top selling product will be uh, so for example uh, using Trendosaur someone was able to to find out about those selfie sticks and I think it was about two two months before they became popular in the United States and they stocked up on the selfie sticks and they ended up making around sixty five thousand dollars in one month from selfie sticks okay so now on to method number two if you're gonna go start off selling on Amazon you should go to Amazon's best sellers list to find out which products are the hottest selling okay so find out which products have good reviews and not many sellers so that there's not much competition in your niche okay now method number three is where you just don't rely on Amazon or any of the online tools that I just mentioned and just pick a niche based on certain criteria okay so method number three is great if you're just gonna start off with your own e-commerce site and you're not even gonna bother going on Amazon you're just gonna go straight to your own e-commerce site using Shopify okay so here are some of the criteria you're gonna want to look at when choosing a niche you're gonna wanna choose a niche where you can add value so that you can differentiate yourself from the competition you also want to find a niche that has passionate or desperate buyers. So by desperate, I mean people that have problems that they need to solve immediately and they're desperate enough to buy it online. Okay, you're also going to want to find a niche in which the products are hard to find locally. Okay, you're also going to want to find a niche in which the products are disposable or consumable. So this is good for getting repeat customers and lastly the other criteria here is a niche in which the products require a lot of accessories um, I'm not sure if you knew this but accessories have high markups okay I mean as an example when you go to Best Buy and you buy a TV they don't really make much profit on the TV there's a very small markup but when you buy accessories there's a high markup on that and they actually profit more sometimes from the accessories okay so this is just some of the criteria and you don't have to choose a niche based on all of this criteria it could just be based on one or two of these criteria now that you've chosen your niche and you have an idea of what you're gonna sell it's time to look for suppliers and you're gonna to want to look for products that you can white label now most companies that are willing to drop ship will let you pre-purchase units but still keep it in their warehouse and fulfill it for you you can also have them ship it straight to Amazon and use Amazon's fulfillment services okay so where do we search uh, one place you could go to is Alibaba that's the most popular site right now where you can find suppliers that's where I found my suppliers uh, another place you can go to is just go to Google again that's what I've used to find my suppliers and they're not necessarily going to be on the first page of Google because a lot of these suppliers or wholesale companies you know they, some of them do not spend a whole lot of time creating an SEO optimized website okay so you may have to go five pages deep in Google to find a good wholesale company another thing you're going to want to do is to call the manufacturer of a product and ask who the distributors are okay so this is if you cannot find the supplier of a product that you want to sell you can just buy the product and then just call the manufacturer okay another thing you may want to do is to purchase a paid directory of wholesalers and again this is something that I've done in the past and I've found suppliers from these directories okay and lastly what I recommend you do is to build relationships with your suppliers so that they can deliver their products on time in this video I want to talk about the importance of creating a brand and also how to create the brand so why should you create a brand why should you brand your products and your company well if you're selling the same thing 
as 20 other people on Amazon. Well, what that does is that drives down the price and you guys are just going to be competing on price and your profit is going to be very low. And you also cannot compete with the bigger guys like Walmart. So what you have to do is make yourself different. And what makes you different is your brand. And the, so the perceived value is going to be different when you actually have your own brand and you're not the same as everybody else. You don't have to compete with Walmart. Okay, so here are some advantages of creating a brand. Customer loyalty, you know, if someone resonates with your brand, they will stick with you and continue to buy from you. Uh, another advantage is a higher price point. Okay, you no longer have to compete on price. Uh, another advantage is viral marketing. If people love your videos or the social images you put out there, uh, you know, they're going to share it. And also, another advantage is the valuation of your company will be higher. I, I mentioned this in a previous video that if you were to sell your company, um, if you have your own store that's, that has its own brand, it will be a, worth a lot more than if it were just a store on Amazon. Okay. Now, here are the disadvantages. Uh, it's more expensive to create a brand. It's a longer term strategy. And also, if your brand were to get tarnished, well, all that hard work went for nothing. Okay. And uh, I just want to share a quick case study. Uh, in less than a year, uh, this guy, he, he had a company called Beard Brand, and it went from zero to $120,000 per month in sales in less than a year. Okay. And they also have a higher repeat customer rate than the industry average. So when you get the time, look this company up. Okay, now how do we build a brand? Okay, you're gonna to wanna to take your own high quality photos so that they're not recognized as the same stock photos that everybody else uses. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to write your own description and if you really wanna do it right, apply to get your own unique UPC code. Okay, and if you're not good at taking pictures or you don't have the time, you could even hire a photographer. Okay, make sure to also create a nice logo that represents your company and your products. And put your mission statement and your values on your site. Okay, and if you do have a website, you need a distinctive design. And lastly, make sure that you give free stuff for your orders to keep you and your company on your customers' minds and to make them happy. If you're selling on Amazon, Amazon will be driving most of the traffic for you already. So most of the work will be done for you. Now, if you have your own website, here are some traffic methods that you can use. Okay, so if you have an e-commerce website and you don't want to spend a lot of money on paid methods like PPC or pay-per-click, there are several free methods for you to use. And actually, not all methods will work for you. You just have to try most of them and then just scale up on the ones that work for you okay so first of all PPC is not that popular amongst uh, e-commerce store owners because it cuts into their profit margins uh, a lot of people use PPC or pay-per-click uh, to test out a new product just to see how popular or how much demand there is for a new product that they're planning to roll out okay now in terms of free traffic methods uh, you may want to try social media uh, you know there's always a chance that one of your social media campaigns will go viral okay you can also create a funny video to make your brand go viral you can also create an informative video uh, that explains why people need your product and again this video has a possibility or, or the potential to go viral Okay, you could also pay for or write blog posts that people can share on social media. You can also use Facebook and Google retargeting ads to get your site's visitors to reconsider purchasing the product later because people rarely buy on the first visit. Okay, and lastly, make sure that you collect email addresses. That way, you can drive traffic to your site by just simply contacting site visitors or even customers about your latest products sales and so on okay and in the long run uh, you may want to 
focus on SEO or search engine optimization um, to get your website up there in the rankings this is the best free way to generate traffic and one site that I recommend you can go to is moz.com or moz.com uh, they have free and paid software tools on there for SEO and they also have free uh, lessons and courses on SEO